Remember back in 2012 when the Vatican punished American nuns for being radical feminists? No, they weren't donning ski masks and singing about killing sexists, but they were talking a little bit too much about helping the poor and not enough about stopping abortions and same-sex marriage. Well, now we have a new progressive pope who says he cares about things like economic injustice, so I'm sure everything's fine and the Catholic Church is finally caught up to present-day morality. Oh, no, just kidding. Uh, they're still awful. Uh, the right-wing nuns have simply taken this as a, a challenge to step up their game and really show how awful and authoritarian the Catholic Church could be. Uh, in this case, it's the Little Sisters of the Poor, um, an organization ostensibly about helping the elderly poor, but which has currently devoted themselves to preventing their own female employees, Catholic or not, from accessing safe, affordable health care. Now, if you watch Fox News, you might be under the impression that what this is really about is Obamacare forcing the little sisters to shove abortion pills down the throat of Mother Superior while shouting Allah Akbar. But what it's really about is something called the contraception mandate. This was added to the Affordable Care Act in order to protect women, uh, to make sure that they would have access to safe and affordable health care, even though some people think it's part of their religion to prevent women from accessing that health care. So yes, things like contraception, but also things like cancer screening. It's very important. What the contraception mandate says is that Religious organizations and religiously affiliated organizations like the Little Sisters don't have to provide those services to their female employees. All they have to do is sign a piece of paper saying, we are a religiously affiliated organization and we object to this type of health care. At that point, the government will step in and work directly with the insurance provider in order to make sure these women still have access to safe and affordable health care. That's what the Little Sisters are protesting here. They don't want to sign a piece of paper because they say that that somehow infringes upon their religious freedom. Uh, what they want to do is not just not take contraception themselves. They want to make sure that no other woman gets ac access to contraception. And we're not talking about the abortion pill here. Um, although abortions are, for the most part, very safe, uh, often medically necessary, they do save women's lives and they should be covered by all insurance. But no, we're talking about birth control pills, things like that, um, which Fox News and other groups will tell you cause abortions. They do not. Study after study after study shows us that the birth control pill works by preventing ovulation in the first place, which makes sure that the egg never even gets around to being fertilized. Not an abortion. But to the Little Sisters of the Poor and other organizations, every unfertilized egg is sacred, which is why they have a candlelight vigil for the one week every month when their menstrual cycles all sync up into a great bloody egg holocaust. Just kidding. Uh, menstrual cycles don't sync up like that. I know that there are those of you in the audience who are in more progressive countries and you are right now just shaking your head and thanking Thor for the single payer system. And to be honest, back when I lived in Massachusetts and Obamacare was called Romney Care, I wasn't a big fan of it either. Um, I knew that there were better systems out there that would better protect people from things like this, organizations like the Little Sisters of the Poor. But uh, this is a step in the right direction. And you can tell it's a step in the right direction by just by how much it's driving these bigoted anti-science assholes like the Little Sisters completely insane. Uh, so let's hope that the Supreme Court does the right thing, rules against the Little Sisters of the Poor, and in favor of all of their female employees who deserve access to safe and affordable health care.